Over, control for control's sake. We're gonna be talking about that in this next hour, hour and a half. We're gonna be talking about today, which is a field day, and we're gonna talk about what happened this weekend and what's gonna happen this week. This whole day is about what's gonna happen this week. Also, it's what's gonna happen in your emotions, what's gonna happen in your body, but come on in. Give me a bunch of likes, um, and also send this off to a friend. Let's get this started today. Um, where, how are you guys feeling today? Put a comment in there that says exactly how you're feeling. I also noticed a friend of mine got canceled uh, last week, uh, Mark Bell, his YouTube channel just got pulled away. And boy, I don't know if you've noticed this, but NFL got caught for scripting the Super Bowl. And on top of that, uh, it's just been one thing after the other. This last weekend, there was all kinds of revelations and it's all about control. And I'm wondering how that, how that came in your, your life. I'll tell you a story how it came into mine. Feel shifting. Um, I live in New Zealand, we'd like to work with you. Is that possible? You mean you want a job with us? If it's to do treatment, we don't do treatment. But you can join our programs and in our programs you get to see us. Um, Yours pierced today, she's eight. I'm so nervous, aha. Uh -huh. Yeah. If I could take it back, I would not pierce my ear. My feeling, that's my observation, I have a pierced ear. See? Yeah, take, uh, what are my credentials? Um, hey, Skibney Matthews, what are your credentials? My credentials is uh, I've been on this journey for 35 years. I've been 10 years as a practitioner, ran the largest multidiscipline clinic in the world with 52 practitioners. My credentials are results. <laughs> what are your credentials? Uh, skin by Matthew. I feel like something in my throat. Hi Gary, feeling good. Aches, headaches, coated tongue. It's sunny. How can we move our stored trauma from our body? Yes, we'll get into that today. Uh, snow in Sas Saskatchewan. Is that Saskatchewan? Snowy Sask. My gosh, I feel sorry for you guys. Wow, yesterday was so hard. Yes, uh, so it started off for me. I mean, I had a bizarre, bizarre weekend. So let me tell you about some of the stuff. I'm just gonna read through what you guys are going through. And then I'll tell you some of the things that happened for me. Cellulite in the hamstring. If it's in your hamstring or specific area, it can't be cellulite. It can be contusions in your fascia, calcification, which then causes a pulling in the layers. Um, uh, and you guys, I have plenty of videos on cellulite. If you go through, the, if you go through our, uh, our YouTube, um, you probably actually type in our YouTube, put uh, cellulite, fascia, and cellulite under human garage. You'll probably find some stuff on there. Trontonian, yes, very intense, I bet. My family in from Romania. Uh, why, why what? Uh, taking my husband to hematologist in New York. How can I help him earlier? Um, it depends, it, uh, it just looks, looks like painted, painted rabbit studio. Um, let me know a little bit more about what's going on and let me know what's going on with your husband. Uh, that way we could help. It's just, it's a little too vague. I'm taking my husband somewhere. How can I help? There are lots of ways to help depending on what, what's, what's symptoms was leading up to it. Grand Rising, Ruby Jean. Nice to hear from you. Let's go, uh, put Lisa as a moderator. Any programs in Europe and the Netherlands? Well, first of all, all of our, this is for Mario. Um, all of our programs are online. Uh, we have people that meet up all over the world. Uh, Netherlands is massively huge. We have thousands of people over there and in other parts of Europe. We have a Facebook group in, in the UK. We have an entire program, 28 day set, reset and everything like that, running independently in Sweden with Sensa, uh, with uh, Mia from uh, Sensa Yoga. And we're talking the entire program. So it just depends on where you are, but you can DM us. And inside of our community portal, inside of our Circle app right now, you can start to go and join communities in your area. So we've just started putting them up. So you can find people that are easier that are in your area. 
Chop, chop, Ezra. Yes, we can talk about him, friend. <clears throat> That's a very, very common issue today. Super common. Let's see if you want to talk about life. Hi there. Hey. Hi, how are you doing, Gary? Good. What's your name? Ezra. Ezra, Ezra, whereabouts are you located? I'm in Germany at the moment. Oh, fantastic. We're in Germany. In Cologne. Oh, awesome. I almost, I almost had a job there when I was like 20 years old. It's a nice place. There was a military base uh, over there and uh, they have a cannery. And I, I grew up, I, when I was a kid, I worked in grocery. So I wanted to get out of the country. So oh, I applied for, applied for a job over there at a military base. Yeah, there's some huge military bases around here. So it's that part of the uh, country. Ezra, what, when's your birthday, Ezra? August. August 27th. Okay. okay, Virgo. Okay, yeah. so um, the reason I ask is because every every astrological sign has predispositions. Yeah. Um, Virgos true. have small intestine leading to large intestine predisposition, and also overthinking. You get a lot of brain fog and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Got that going on? Yeah. Where where are you at, or are you at anywhere in our resets or program so far? Um, so I did uh, some of the fifteen minute resets uh, like last year, but the reality is, like for this year, it's, it's been pretty crazy for me. Um, I've been working pretty much nonstop, and during that time, uh, m my mother passed away really unexpectedly, and um, and I just kind of threw myself even more into work. So this has kind of been my first kind of downtime in like 10 months. Yeah. I'm like four weeks. I've just kind of been off work. And um, yeah, I've just noticed uh, mainly that like I'm, I'm, I'm pretty in tune with my body, I, I'd like to think. And what I noticed is like when I was doing this big period of work, I started like waking up in the morning with a lot of like um, sharp pains in my abdomen. And that kind of moved into now just being like this constantly inflamed, uh, like lower intestine, like where it drops. And if I on the right I side pull, or the left side, on my left, so like my large yeah. intestine. Yeah. And if I like will lie down and like pull, pull the fascia of like my lower abdomen back, so I can get my fingers in deep to kind of like just. I've been finding like giving it a little bit of pressure and just like really just holding, holding there with the like fascia open has, has relieved it a bit, but it's not a long-term thing. It's just coming back like over and over again. And it, okay, do you it want just to seems like a kind of constant. Today? You want to do some stuff with me today? Yeah, sure. Okay. So a couple questions. Um, what kind of work do you do out of curiosity? I, I'm a chef. Oh, perfect. I, 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 love, I love chefs. It's creativity with food. Yeah, that's um, it. And but it's also like a, a, a bit of a, an intense industry. And it does, it's not so kind on your body. Yeah, it, it, yeah, I completely agree. Especially long hours, high stress environments quite often. Yeah, um, bad posture. <laughs> yeah. So um, the large intestine, the emotion that goes with it is grief yeah on the left side me that way. it's your feminine side okay yeah okay so now now we have a container which makes sense because of your mom's passing right indeed yeah um so, so <clears throat> there's a couple of issues so when the body Body, the organs are our emotions and when there's too much stress on the organ or on the organs through the emotional pathway then we start to have issues like you're experiencing and um, and that's that's actually really really common um, you'll find that when it's left over a long period of time it starts to be it starts to bring on things like um, like Crohn's or colitis and ulcers and stuff like that 
So we want to get it under control right away. The, um, the, the primary thing that, that you're going to have to deal with, though, is that there's environmental factors which are also contributing. Um, right now, because of our skies and the, and the, the chemicals in our food, um, also the chemical in our clothes and our environment. We yeah, I, I've been like rather obsessive about those specific things for quite a few years. So we only have like, well, about 90% natural fibers in our house. We 100% organic here. We, we have an Alcaviva H2 Vesta machine. Whoa, you are rocking. Yeah, man. Yeah, so, I mean, doesn't that change everything too? Yeah. Yeah, it really does. That's incredible water. And like, we're, we're actually super lucky here in Germany that we have like some of the best water that you can get anywhere. And they don't put it in plastic. They put it all in glass. So, the, so. so on top of those things, the ones, there's a couple of sneaky ones right now. Um, P, PFs that are in clothing um, is one. Um, since you're already eating organic, we'll take that one off the table. But the skies, oh. <laughs> The skies uh, that you're, um, you're breathing air, which has barium, strontium, and aluminum in it. Yeah. And so, so what happens is, here's a natural course, is that the body, uh, barium, they all have a different effect. And there's more than those. Those are the primary ones. Barium depletes the body of silica. Yeah, and I've definitely noticed because... Um... I know that silica is basically a carrier for like all nutrition to enter the body. It's kind of a vital element. And what I've noticed is my ability. What I've really noticed, Gary, is like over the last few years, I've like suddenly looked a lot older. Um, my body's aching more. Um, it doesn't seem to to matter what I do, exercise wise or diet wise. That it just it, something's not right. And my I nutrition isn't coming to me you know and, and I, I, I listened to what you said the other day about the silica and i was like that's definitely got something going on and i know that the the aluminium etc will be blocking my nutritional absorption in my body yeah and my main indicator of it all is that my my gut microbiome seems to be all yeah. over the place and like confused with itself yeah there, there there's a whole host there's a whole host of stuff so you You've already got the biggest part that people have under control. The hardest thing that we can get people that are doing everything right from a nutritional standpoint, they're taking all the right supplements, they're, 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 doing, um, you know, they're doing everything right, but then they have their, uh, their environment, the, the fabrics in their homes and their clothes, the chemicals that they clean with, the food's not organic. And, so you've already got that under control, which means you have your way ahead. The reason why you, what you're experiencing is not you're not alone in. This is like with with all of my health influencer type people around the world, they're all starting to look older. If you've noticed it, yeah, yeah, and I've noticed that a lot of people share the same kind of concerns. So it it's clearly an underlying theme for a lot of people that we're all kind of feeling the same and. And for me, it really felt like suddenly I just hit a wall and I was like, what's going on? Nothing's changed. Yeah. You know, well, why am I, I, I suddenly had huge dental issues out of the blue that I never had problems with my teeth. Yes. You know? So, so what's happening is he, 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 it takes, it takes about 10 years for this to become something that you have to worry about. Yeah. And it's seven to 10 years. But when we deplete silica from our body, silica is a base element and the way it works is I need to have, and we are made up of silica, 70% water, 25% sand, silica, and yeah. then 5% bacteria, viruses, and other things. So the major construction, like our infrastructure, is water and sand. And when silica is not present, we don't absorb minerals properly. So then we eat all the right food, take all the supplements. This is a common thing with health, healthy people. They're doing everything right, it's not working. Yeah. And so if we can't absorb the minerals, then all of a sudden our body has to start to compensate it. Our hormones go off balance. We don't think properly. We don't hydrate properly. The tissue doesn't hydrate or oxygenate properly. And it's a cascading series of things. But people, well, you know, I've been doing this forever and I haven't had a problem. Well, it takes 10 years for the body to be chronically dehydrated, uh, chronically uh, deficient in silica. Yeah. And it can happen as little as five or six years, but... 10 years, it's like, okay, now I can't do anything to get ahead. And that's where you're at. Yeah.
that's definitely where I'm okay, at. Okay, so um, first things first is download our supplement guide. It'll explain to you how to get the diatomaceous earth, the doses, the silica. Diatomaceous earth I found to be the best because it also has diatoms in it. Diatoms basically are algae that uh, that have scrub buds. They they actually scour your small intestine. So for you, that's super important. Your Virgo, small intestine is utmost important. Okay. okay. And then and then the Irish sea moss, um, especially as you're starting to rebuild it. And since um, and I I would add for you would add bladder rack because you then you get 102 of the 102 minerals. You know. Okay. The thing about every mineral is a pathway. So if you get like a trace mineral, you get like 60 yes. or 80. It's good, but the ones that you're missing are probably the ones that you really need. Yeah. Okay. So once you got that under control. And, and by the way, one of the ways that I knew that this was an issue is that you would pull up and get relief and then it goes away. Yeah. What yeah. that means is your fascial tissue is dehydrated. Okay. Yeah. And then the organs and the meridians. So let's do a, let's do a couple maneuvers together and then we'll go into it. Okay. So in, in particular, the, the, the biggest and most important one is and I do this one myself even today. I do it twice a day, sometimes three times a day. So I take my hands in front of my belly button. Go to for you. We're going to start off on the on the right. So go to the right two inches, and, and down two inches. So just above the hip. So my belly button's here. My hip bones there, and I'm just above the hip. Okay. So pull up really really hard, so you can feel the pulling coming into the leg. You got that? Yeah. Okay. Then lunge forward with your left foot. Lean back. Look up at the sky and rotate your body slightly to the left. And with your mouth and your lips pursed, breathe in deeply. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Okay, good. Now get up and then uh, just move around a little bit. Do you feel a blood rush to the head? Yeah, I feel nice and hot. Okay, good. So this is, this is really important because that blood rush to the head means that there's compression, dehydration, which is blocking the, the valve there. And the reason why you feel it in your head is because the small intestine gets blocked by that valve. And when that valve's open up, it flows properly, and then you feel the pressure change in your head immediately. And if you're under stress or dehydrated, it causes a sweating. Yeah, it's definitely got my head sweating. Yeah, okay, so we know, we know exactly what it is, so this is gonna be easy for you. Okay, hands on your belly button, go left two inches and down two inches. Now this is into the, this is into the area where you're feeling it. So pulling up, Lunge forward with your right foot, lean back, look up at the sky, and slightly turn your body to the right, and breathe in with your mouth deep. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, come on up for a second, but leave your right hand on your hip, take your left hand, and pull the skin up towards your rib cage, right underneath. So you're stretching between your hip and your rib cage, so pulling it apart. So one hand on your on your hip, pulling down. One hand pulling up, so you're pulling them apart. Lunge forward again with your right foot. Look up and breathe. Breathe into that top hand. Three, four, five. Six. Okay, now move around a little bit. Did your brain go quiet? Wow, that's pretty good. Is your brain quiet? Yeah, okay. completely. Okay. So the reason why this is important when I ask if your brain's quiet, that's a determination our noise in our head, our racing thoughts, they're not in our head. 
it's our brain trying to solve the problem here with an issue. Yeah. Okay, so let's do it. Let's do an organ re release now. So we're going to do a reset. Take your right hand, put it on your belly button. Go over two inches and down two inches, right where we were before. Okay. Push in there, and I like to push in and just turn it a little bit. Doesn't matter which way, but yeah, that's good. Left hand here, just on your trap, anywhere there. Okay, we're gonna do three breaths in the mouth and three from the nose together, okay? Yep. Three, two, one for the mouth. Two, two, three. Through the nose three times. Two, three. Okay, repeat after me. I no longer want to hold grief in my body. Say it again, Gary. I, I need you. no longer want to hold grief in my body. I no longer want to hold grief in my body. I'm releasing it now. I'm re releasing it now. I'm replacing it with compassion and understanding. I'm replacing it with compassion and understanding. For myself. For myself. Okay, good. Our bodies are a fluid adaptive biological computing system. So we're programming it. How do you feel right now? Really good. Calm? Yeah, really calm. Really relaxed. Okay, so we got two more. Let's go with our right hand on belly button, over two inches to the left and down two inches. You're going to pull it up and towards the belly button. So just push into the skin and pull it diagonal. Left hand up. Breathe in three times to the mouth. Two. Three, through the nose, two, three. I'm no longer going to overthink. I'm no longer going to overthink. I'm releasing the grief that I've held from my mother's passing. I'm releasing the grief that I've held over my mother's passing. Okay. <clears throat> How do you feel? Yeah, good, Gary. Thank you. You're not speaking your truth in your life right now. So we're gonna do one more. Heart, head, right hand on your heart, left hand on your throat. Breathe in through your mouth. Two. Three. Through your nose. Two, three. I'm ready to speak my truth. I'm ready to speak my truth. To speak what my heart wants. Speak what my heart wants. Not what my brain thinks. Not what my brain thinks. <clears throat> Thank you, Gary. Yeah, uh, I can feel you changing. Really interesting how, <laughs> just how much stuff is just, can be trapped and just in that, in the body, hey? Yeah, it's a vicious circle because, cycle because when our body
is in stress, which chronic dehydration makes everything stressful, then the body can't, can't self-actualize. So like my, my thoughts are consumed in my body and I can't step outside. And this is why we build up trauma. Because you, you seem like a, a fairly practical and well-heeled person generally. And if, uh, it feels like you're just caught in this rut I guess like we're all pretty amazing actors, you know, like it's, it's, it, you, you, you believe something to a certain degree and then you just get good at kind of like promoting that picture. And then maybe at some point you kind of get more to a realization that you, there's no one else that we're bullshitting. We only bullshit ourselves. Right? Yeah. And I've always been a little bit obsessed with looking after myself. And, and it's funny because the, most of the time that was complete juxtaposition because I was out there not doing the exact opposite, not looking after myself. But I think that there's things that come along and that they, they smash us so hard that maybe, maybe because, because of the way that society's structured and the way that we live now, we don't have a way to, to to compartmentalize, we just push it to somewhere else and it all just gets stuck in our bodies. How old are you? 40. So I'm 50, 55. I was going to say 54, but I'm 55 now. Um, I'm a generation or a story ahead of you. And I remember when I was a kid or growing up, even as a young adult, when I had my kids um, 30, 30 years ago, I remember having space and time in my life but over the last 40 years we've had we've gone from having this much work and this much time in our life to this much time and this much work and this much time in our life yeah and and that that journey has kept us busy and when we're busy we're not present and so like you can see people that that have their schedule going boom Boom, boom, all day, all day, every day, and they keep themselves busy. Well, you can't, we can't self-actualize when we do that. And our lives have taken us, like you just said, into this world where there is no space for us anymore. It's only for what we're doing. And I think that the, 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 there's another facet to that, and it's that because of the way that society structures our contact with other people, yeah. a, lot of, a lot of us don't have the social support from friends and stuff that we need to be able to heal. Yes. Because the bottom line is everybody needs a cuddle. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And it's sometimes you don't need to cuddle off the same person that you needed to <laughs> all the other times. Yeah. And so community yeah. is so important. And I think that like, even though lots of us live in cities, we don't all have a community in that city. No, we're, 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 we're actually programmed, like I said, against it. So this is what the, worldwide mo movement of human garages. We have communities developing all over the world, including Germany. Um, and right now it starts online and we built our whole, our whole worldwide network online and now people are getting together. But the 28 day reset, I was, you know, I was going to tell a story today about like, I, I, I when with the new reset, I went in and did the reset myself. I'm doing it with everybody else. As a matter of fact, I didn't even look at the content beforehand. I'm opening it up each day myself and watching it with everybody else. And I noticed something this time doing it. Number one is that I noticed that even though I do fascial maneuvers and work like and, and, and taking care of myself every day in my life, when I commit to do something in that 28 days with a group of people, I develop a community with them and I start releasing. And I, I noticed that I, I had a big release over control and over family, and it was with my mom passing away. And, and I had this release that happened over the weekend. And it happened because I'm in the community doing that reset with everybody else at the same time. Yeah. When we come together, humans make some pretty powerful energy. Yeah. And um, you know, like, I can feel it now, Gary. You know? Yeah. Th thank you. Thank you. And. Uh, this, this is this is community in like, you know, the 21st century, I guess. Yeah, it starts this way. You know, it's, it's really neat because we have had people building relationships for two and three years now online. And 
this year we're pulling everybody together physically because yeah. we couldn't do it during 2020, 21, 22 yeah, is no. hard. Crazy. <clears throat> so we're pulling everybody together this year. And there, there is a lot of people in Germany. I don't know specifically where you're at, but I, I know that there's people there practicing and, and the communities are developing everywhere. Well, if you I'm haven't coming over there yet, next week. What? I'm going to be on your side of the water next week. Where are you coming to? I'm going to be in the States for the next three months working. Whereabouts? And then uh, all over the place. Uh, I work, when I work as a chef, I work uh, privately for um, uh, usually musical artists. And so, uh, you know, I can't disclose who, but I'm, yeah. I'm doing a, a, an American tour with uh, a recording artist and we're finishing up in Mexico. So that's awesome. Yeah. My well, you know, on your tour, there are people and cities and stuff like that where you may be on tour, where, there's, where there are, are community members doing classes, getting together. So get into the 28-day reset, get into the new app, um, go through the reset, even if you're moving around and doing it, you can still do it. It's only 15 to 30 minutes a day. And then start talking to people because if you get into the opportunity to connect with people on your journey, it will be really powerful. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it, and uh, um, yeah, I'm gonna use this as a as a community resource and see if I can't meet up with some people in the states. You know what? Yeah, do you know the uh, do you know the Australian chef Pete Evans? Yeah, yeah. We just started working with him. Cool. We're cool. doing a whole program with him, and yeah. you and you know what's funny is he's a Virgo too, and you guys remind me of each other. It's that Virgo chef <laughs> energy. <laughs> And I'm a 29 degree Sag, which makes me an honorary Virgo as well with, with 11. Cool. So I, I, and I love cooking. I do, but I don't yeah. like cooking in Mexico. In, in Vancouver, where we're right on the edge of the mountain, all windows, big open kitchen, I cook every day. I, get, I did to finish my life, and I'm in the kitchen cooking for three, four hours just because I love it. It's, it's a lot of fun, and it, it's super meditative, right? It's like, I, I, I love the kitchen. I like even doing the dishes, you know. You, it's just so easy to go somewhere else with it. And just find a place, peaceful place. Well, when you're on your tour, reach out. And, and by the way, we, our community is growing all over the world. And one of the things that we're looking for is, and a lot of people are looking for, is we're, we're setting up these facilities all, all over the world. And we absolutely are looking for new inputs for food, uh, cooking, coming in. We're looking for people who can who can bring culture and diversity into our into our ecosystem. So oh, maybe that'll be one of the things you do. <clears throat> I'm always keen. If anybody you know who's watching it wants to hit me up as well, like you know, I grew up in Portugal. We're big on setting up eco communities out there. You know, me and my wife, we've been looking at like buying some big farms. We really we have big contact with a, a big family in Portugal who do grass-fed and finished beef that's 100% organic. Um, yeah, we, we're really into trying to do the same thing and, and connect people and build some community that's based around like real health and wellness, uh, both spiritual and physical. Well, you belong in our ecosystem. That's what we're doing. We're connecting communities around the world. Right now, what we're doing is we're... We've, we've developed a formula software to run on properties so that other people can come in and have experiences of communion and healing. And that's what we're doing, we're working with resorts all over the world. Uh, by this time next year, we'll probably have 100 locations, I would imagine, that, where people can go and get a similar experience and commune with other people. Amazing. Yeah, Gary, I'd love to be a part of it in any way that I could. Well, it starts off with the 28-day reset. We'll see I'm you in there. Thanks I'm looking so forward much. to getting to meet you in person. Yeah, I have a, I have a strong Straight back at you, Gary. Yeah, thanks so much for today. It was great. Chop, chop, Ezra. Super powerful. That was really powerful. Azores, yes. We have somebody in the Azores waiting for us to come over there. She's going to be here in a week or so. We are coming to the UK eventually. Yes, we're coming to the UK, we're coming to Portugal. We're getting ready, we're gonna be doing a four stop tour in the United States first to get ready. We're getting ready because the United States will have numbers, but not like Europe. Like in some places in Europe, we'll have, or India, we'll have like 15, 20,000 people. So we're, we're practicing. 
the United States is like three to five to 7,000 people. So we're practicing. Yeah. What'd you guys think about that? How did you relate to what we were doing there? Curious. <clears throat> Hair is still brittle, easily falling out after three weeks of CMOS. Uh, if you're, uh, this is for three entrepreneurs. Hopefully you're doing the diatomaceous earth. And if you are, don't worry about it. It's the old coming out, the new coming in. Also bath in, in the diatomaceous earth and add one quarter cup of chia seeds with your diatomaceous earth, your borax and your Epsom salts. Um, quarter, quarter cup of chia seeds ground up into your bath water. You can put it in your hair and create a mask. Come to the Hamptons. Oof. That's so, uh, I just, just, you know, that would have been an invite I would have been interested in a couple of years ago, but today it's, it's, it's not about the place. It's about the place. <laughs> no, I, I know the Hamptons are beautiful. I just, uh, I have, I have some, maybe it's my experiences there. <laughs> yes. Take sea moss while you're fasting. Absolutely. Those are minerals. Also take diatomaceous earth, Mark Harris media. Let's stop ringing in my ears. Uh, if you're ringing in your ears, uh, weight gain. Oh, classic. Chrissy. Is it Chrissy? Red hole. Red holy. Red holy. Chrissy, you're describing classic chronic dehydration, and you're most likely got a little bit of head trauma in there. Um, and and uh, upper reset is what you want to do. You want to take the diatomaceous earth, the Irish sea moss, um, and um, and I would get into the 28 day reset. It's you basically you're chronically dehydrated, most likely have stress building up. Your body is running on adrenaline. Uh, you're probably after the adrenaline, probably been going a lot of energy for a couple of years and then weaning down now. So 28 day reset. <clears throat> Connective tissue disorder, hypermobility. Oh yeah, I know, I'm so hypermobile. I can flip my scapula by twisting my wrist. There it goes. Oh. Yes, I am now hypermobile. It's not a disorder. It is a functional issue that your muscles are holding on to because of dehydration, because of autoimmune type issues. Yes, you should be able to be very flexible and you should be able to, I can dislocate every one of my joints, have them dislocated, put back in, no pain, no issues. Hypermobility is a sign that your body's trying to move to a higher state of being rather than a muscle skeletal dominant, um, tendon muscle dominant body. Um, so what I recommend is you get into the 28 day reset, you get your body properly hydrated. It's the dehydration within the muscle fibers, the fascia that goes through the muscle dehydrates, pulls it tight. So your body's trying to create more space. The muscles are pulling it tight. Then the, dis the dysfunction is in the imbalance between your muscles pulling and your fascia trying to loosen up. Um, what you find a lot of people um, that have Ehlers Danlos. Um, you find when they're somewhere around the second to fourth month of doing this and hydrating and taking the anti-inflammatories, using our supplement protocol, uh, you'll, find, you'll find a lot of them in there that no longer have symptoms or have greatly redu reduced symptoms. How dangerous is IV iron infusion? Oh, don't do that. Just load your body up with diatomaceous earth and minerals and move it. Get, yeah, it, it, you, if you're having issues with iron, you're having issues with calcium, it's not iron and calcium. It's not what you're missing is you're missing the ability to absorb it. You're not processing it. That means that your small intestine is still congested. That means that you don't have enough uh, elements of like selenium, uh, silica, predominantly selenium, selenium, calphos. You're not absorbing the minerals properly. That's why you got to get the minerals going and you've got to get the silica in your body. It's like with people that want to increase their calcium, like if you have osteoporosis, osteopenia, anything like that, taking calcium is going to actually cause more problem because it's going to dysregulate your blood. You're going to, 
you're going to start to have calcium laying down from your blood. That's, that's how you get bunions and bone growth and spurs and stuff like that. Get the minerals. Get your body back into hydrating. My daughter says, of course, they are Virgo chefs. Virgo's rules the sixth elephant. <laughs> Just get your own routine in association with health and well-being. Yes. Virgos are, uh, Marla, Virgos are considered to be the wounded healers. And I know, I are one. <clears throat> Serious sinus and bowel issues. Here's what I want you to know, swam, Swami girl. Bowel issues and sinus issues come from the same place. Cheeks, cheeks, cheeks. They're all fascially related. And it's all from dehydration, always. It's always from compression. Um, get in, if you're having bowel and sinus issues, do the upper reset one day with the barefoot sprinter routine number two. Do the lower reset the day, day two with the lower barefoot sprinter routine number two. Switch those routines around, get your body, take, download our supplement protocol, get your body hydrated, get the inflammation out, and all of those issues will go away right away. If you have too much compression in here, you're gonna have so much compression in here. If you have too much compression in here, you're gonna get compression through here and through here. My daughter is an astrologist, yes. Have her tune in to our Astro Monday with Chris Patecki happening at 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And Michelle, you're gonna be in Portugal. Yeah, awesome. Tamara Rizzo, 421. Tamara, are you uh, are you a 28 or 29 degree Aries? If you're a 29 degree Aries, go to astro.com, download it, send me your chart. But you're being called into action. You're going to have a little bit of a rough time between now and your birthday. But you can prepare for that. Um, so Tamara Rizzo, good vibes. Uh, go Right now, while we're here, go to astro.com on your computer or whatever. Type in your astrology and tell me if you're a 28 or 29 degree, and I'll tell you what's going on. How much DE should you put in the bath? Quarter cup with a quarter cup of, uh, of uh, Epsom salts with a quarter cup of borax. Put some essential oils in there. If you want to get really soft and smooth and hydrated, take a quarter cup of cheese seeds, grind them up in the coffee grinder, put them in the bath. It's going to create some gunk in the bottom of the bath, wipe it out with a towel. But it's going to be, it's going to hydrate you to a level you've never, ever, ever thought possible. If you have a nerve pain in your right hip, um, then go and do the lower reset. Uh, after working with Ezra, go do the lower reset. And a nerve pain or just a pain? A nerve pain is going to feel like electricity. And if that's what it is, uh, either way, it's a lower reset. <clears throat> also a sign that the angels are coming through. Yes. What product? Uh, so we use dietamationsearth.com. I'm going to take some of the, before you guys go on all this uh, whole thing about, about uh, heavy metals in your dietamations earth. Okay. <clears throat> some have more aluminum, some have more other heavy metals. I want to tell you something about it because I get this question all the time. 80% of that is silica so 80 percent silica with diatomes in it which is an algae which helps clear heavy metals and toxins basically they encapsulate heavy metals and take them out so the whole conversation is i've got heavy metals in my diatomaceous earth is disingenuous i have worked with diatomaceous earth with patients for over a decade that had a high aluminum content and their aluminum content in their body went down why? Because you're taking a massive amount. You're using a fire hose of silica to scrub and get everything out. And then you've got a little water hose dripping in some heavy metals. It, listen, I, I know this sounds counterintuitive, but 
Here's another one. You know, people are like, I don't want to take any mercury. Get the mercury out of my fish. Oil. If you don't have mercury, you're out of balance. You have to have tin and mercury and everything. That's why those are the 102 minerals. It's not about the single elements It's about or minerals. It's about specifically, it's about the balance that they have. And when your body's balanced, it processes stuff. The only reason why you have all these issues is because your body's out of balance. Put it back in balance so you won't have issues. Started Celtic sea salt for dehydration, but found I started gaining weight and was bloated. Be aligned to BC. That is a really great issue. You're starting with Celtic sea salt and you found you got waterlogged and bloated. That is a sign that you're missing the elements. You're missing silica. You can't just use sea salt. Get the diatomaceous earth and the Irish sheet moss then you can add sodium if you want but if you're adding sodium without those your body's going to hold the water but it won't process it the water itself needs the minerals to actually tell it where to go into the tissue if it doesn't have it it'll sit in your body and and each one of those minerals is like a pathway to an organ to a nerve to a gland to a piece of tissue and if you're missing any of them your body has to compensate around so you're a classic, your, your classic sign that you're dehydrated um, and chronically dehydrated. Chronic dehydration of your tissue usually has holding too much water. You see this a lot when people are overweight. They're holding water in the weight. It's because their tissue, and Lisa's shaking her head because she's lost 100 pounds and she's continuing to go. It's because the tissue itself, the water couldn't get where it needed to go. So it just keeps piling up saying, the body says, I need water, and, the, and it goes, I've got water here for you, but it can't use it. So that's why you need the diatomaceous earth or the silica from horsetail, and you need the other minerals. And the other thing, too, is do this fascial maneuvers, because when you do a fascial maneuver, what you're doing is you're opening up all the fascial tissue. That's where the water needs to go. So you could even have everything right, but you have years of chronic dehydration, and it, <clears throat> it takes a long time for that water to get to the tissue. Why? Because it's bound, it's stuck together. That fascia, imagine 10 layers of saran wrap. You stick it together, now peel them apart. That's what your fascia is like when it's dehydrated. You have to, you can't peel it apart anymore. So you, when you take it and you go like twist with a fascial maneuver and you have hydration, then the fluid can actually start to go through that tissue. Best way to hydrate yourself is to stop drinking demineralized water and get your, your diatomaceous earth and your Irish sea moss. It's a really good question. The best way, the best way to dehydrate, the best way to hydrate your, your body is not drinking more water. It's absorbing the water that you're already consuming. And you should be consuming water from your baths and your showers and everything like that as well. But if you don't have the right minerals and elements in your body, and you're drinking demineralized water because we drink filtered water today. And filtered water, we take the minerals out. Well, water's job when it goes over a rock is takes minerals. It actually wears down and erodes the rock. If you don't have the minerals in your water and you're drinking like reverse osmosis water, your water's taking all the minerals out of you. And then it's a, it's a catch 22 because you can't absorb the water because you don't have the minerals. And you don't have the minerals because the water's taking it out. So first and foremost is stop drinking demineralized water or put minerals back in the water, get diatomaceous earth, get Irish sea moss, and, and then do fascial maneuvers. Your hydration will come back right away. I've got data to show before I started diatomaceous earth, my hydration level started taking diatomaceous earth and my hydration level went up and my weight started going, finally went, went down. Yeah, so, so this is actually, you should actually, actually put that out there. This is um, Lisa who's lost 100 pounds she was she was doing the maneuvers doing everything else she wasn't taking diatomaceous earth she was looking at her hydration level as her hydration level went up her weight went down and she has the data she's been tracking this every day for over a year right well i've got data for over five years from even before so i can i can see that data where i wasn't taking diatomaceous earth or any minerals yeah and but i was you know lots of protein lots of water you know just trying to do all the right things and then when I started taking diatomaceous earth, I could see it drip up. And then, but, but when I started taking human grudge supplements with the diatomaceous earth and the 
ashwagandha. Yeah. It was a Boom. like a light switch. Yeah, light switch. Yeah, and you guys follow uh, Lisa Human Garage. Look at her journey, especially if you're if you feel like you're holding water weight and you're trying to trying to lose. <clears throat> so I want to know how what what was your control issues that you were dealing with this weekend? Hi, Annie. Hello. How are you? I'm doing well. You Pisces person, you? Yes, yes, yes. Are you, are you March? <laughs> Third or fourth or something like that. March fifth. March fifth. Yeah, it was pretty close. Yeah. <clears throat> so March fifth. Now you're a fourteen degree, right? Yes. Or Twelve degree. Fourteen. Fourteen. Okay, so you're this exact same as Cynthia. Yes. You gotta reach out to her if you haven't done it yet. I did, um, and so we'll see what ends up happening. Okay. Yeah. yeah, so because 14 degrees is means that you're always in your freaking head. <laughs> Do you have a Gemini rising, by the way? No, I actually have a Pisces rising. And what degree is that? Um, that one is, um, um, let me see if I can pull up my chart. I think it was 17. Oh, Capricorn. And then my So you got it you got it this weekend. You got it over oh. Friday, Saturday, something come up about control for you, making you forcing you to take a choice. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. So tell me about it. Now I'm now I'm really curious. Oh my gosh. Okay. So Friday. They terminated my position Whoa. where I was at for two and a half years, eight years within the company. Wow. Yeah. What, 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 what were you doing out of curiosity? So, so um, I was doing property management. Okay. So they terminated, like just gone. Just like, like literally, it was, had no idea. Like there were some things going on that, that just, it was definitely, felt power um i know it was kind of business related obviously um but it, the way it was done uh was kind of like holy shit so how did it make you feel i literally laughed on the way out and mm. and felt open and expanded and excited and all of the emotions that went within that experience so, so sad what was how is that how is that position uh illustrating control in your life where what was it controlling in you that you weren't open to follow your heart um sharing story sharing creativity sharing the interconnectedness that we all are uh sharing the spirituality sharing the beauty sharing words and expression of emotion i felt in that position it was very uh i got to see and feel uh, uh the way that I would describe it is like the stuck points, the the very very fragmented areas that have been like spaciously abandoned within like multiple generations, within lifetimes, within the multi-dimensional reality. That um, yeah, I got, got to really see, feel, and know the subtleties, and then extending compassionate grace towards myself and towards others within that experience so at 14 degrees it's all about what you love what you belong to and then you think about it so in other words you didn't belong to it you didn't love it <clears throat> but you were doing it yeah yeah well see you process it the right way you have the tools and the skills to process it the right way 
because the majority of people aren't processing that. They go, oh my God, I've lost my, my job. And then it goes into self-worth and value and stuff like that. Yeah. I, I want to say I could see how each thing has led into another and more spacious, more gracious uh, ways for me from my personal practices to come into human garage. And like I've shared with you before, within some variants, I've always been doing some type of fascial maneuvers. I was missing uh, the, the, the science element, the, the breath work, and uh, the pelvic lock. And so every, every time that I do a fascial maneuver within, within the 28 day reset and beyond, it gives me an opportunity to come back to a collective center and then go expand within my own movement. Mm -hmm. And so it's been absolutely pivotal because my emotional frequencies used to be like high highs and high lows, but now it's, it's lessened and I can move more graciously within that. So I allowed myself Saturday just to go inward, to listen, to feel before even sharing a lot of my story. Yeah, well, Friday was 29 degrees. So <clears throat> Friday was the embodiment, the perfection, and the highest exaggeration or example of what control is in our life. So everybody had something in particular, but you particularly would have been, it would have been hitting you, especially at double Pisces, because it's also uh it's also uh on on friday it was like 29 degrees so that's the virgo part of it but you were leading up to it so you had thursday was a pisces day uh uh th well wednesday thursday thursday to friday was a capricorn day that's when control uh hit and peaked as most and then saturday was the catch you okay what do I do? Where? What is my heart really? What do I not want anymore? It's what am I getting rid of? What don't, what don't I believe anymore? Etc. Yeah. <clears throat> yep. Feels like you still need to speak about it, though. Yeah. It. Uh, I've been been doing some documentation and and want trying to figure out. How how to how to share that graciously with myself and within just in general um you, because you have a tendency to like to be private right a, a, a little bit um that's where i've been trying to expand and become more uh consistent in that type of sharing because uh you should Share everything but that last little piece. It's a nugget. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, what, that's what you're opening up to. It's feeling safe to be able to share that piece of you. Yep. Yeah. yeah. And, and then the next part of that is judgment that goes along with it. So it's being, it's not judging yourself so you don't attract more judgment. Absolutely. Absolutely. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. What a weekend, huh? Uh, absolutely. <laughs> I laugh about it because other things going went down this weekend. <clears throat> Friday, <clears throat> the the facade of our world's coming apart. Friday, everybody in Sports Illustrated was fired, and they're finding out that that company that ran Sports Illustrated was actually one of the thirty five companies that runs everything, and. And then also the NFL got busted for being scripted. In other words, it's all all show. It's all all the control mechanisms are are revealing themselves. People are whistleblowing. Things are happening. Yeah. Yep. And now, now you're free to do what you want to do. Yep. Yep. Which feels both freaking amazing and like also WTF. So. Yeah. Well, you got it. Just stay for you. It's it's not doing what you're expected to do, not doing what the 
rules say you should do. For you, the journey is to specifically, like everybody has this, but you, it's, it's overwhelmingly, you have to follow your heart. If your heart ain't feeling it, it ain't something you should do. You shouldn't give it any time or energy. Yeah. Yep. Yep. There's learning and listening has been, I laughed Friday because I was like, okay, this is, this is, this is what my soul has asked for. And here it is. And here we go. What's your emotions in? What's your moon? Uh, it is 26 in Capricorn. Oh. Oh, you're a grandmaster in in your in your emotions. Okay, that that makes you really good at getting stuff done. It yeah. takes you because a lot of Pisces are, you know, they're over here, they're over there. They don't do it for you. You can actually focus that getting it done energy, but it's also your emotions are the teachers. Yes. Yeah, and in there, your journey is to <clears throat> is to share and guide and help others. Yep. I can definitely. And the other interesting aspect that is where I currently reside, it's on the astrological, I don't remember the way that it's called, but it's uh, my, I'm living on my moon line. Perfect. You're living right in your karma. Your karma, you're living, karma comes at you while you're there all the time. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's a, it's a powerful place. It will test your emotions, especially as a grandmaster Capricorn in emotions. Oh. But, but karma will test you all, all over the place. It's funny because Cynthia, her Pluto line is here. That's probably why she's not here right now. She's back up in Vancouver because she has to face the death and the, and the, and the rebirth and Pluto is so intense right now. But, yeah, it makes a difference. Where do you live? I live in Columbia, South Carolina. Oh, South Carolina. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You're exactly where you need to be. The world's changing really fast. You just got a head start. <laughs> Thanks for that reminder. I might need that. Yeah, you're good. And thank you again for just the community in which you have built and are building. It is absolutely phenomenal and if anybody's listening that is in south carolina in general specifically columbia south carolina and want to embark on such a nourishing enriching and embodying grounding experience connect with me because this this journey like you said is all about adapt adaptability it is yeah and in the new circle app we just put people in regions yeah. So you can go, and I don't know if there's one for South Carolina, but we, we do it based on how many people are in an area. Right. Yeah. So put a stake in the ground, uh, host a class, invite a few people over. It, you'd be surprised how fast it happens. Yeah. It's coming. Okay, Annie. Nice All talking right. To you. All right. Bye. Bye. Yeah. It's, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you about my issues with control. Boy, hello. Hi, Chris. <laughs> Can't believe that. Where where was you located, Chris? I'm in Brazil. Oh, Brazil. Where yeah. in Brazil? At the moment, at a place called Piracaya, Sao Paulo. Sao Paulo. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> and when's your birthday, yeah. Chris? Twenty eighth of May. Oh, okay, so you're a brainiac. You're a <laughs> I'm a brainiac, I said. Yeah, you're, you <laughs> might, do you know your degree? Are you a five degree Gemini? I'm, I have it, I've, I've done the chart, but I don't know where I see the degree. Well, it, it usually just... says the degree, it'll say, it'll say like five, uh, five degree or six degree. And it'll be Gemini, Gemini, and it'll be like five with twenty-eight or twenty-six or something. Um, I can check, but I think it will pause the video. Yeah. Yeah, check it for a second. I'm curious because if you are a five degree, then there's something that you need to need to hear. And if you're out, outside, she's while well, she's looking, <clears throat> go to astro.com, print out your chart, and if you really want to learn about it, go to our partner store 
um, under our products and partners and sign up for Serious Joy. Try it for four bucks for a month and see what happens. It'll tell you everything about the daily astrology, the weekly, the monthly, the yearly, and then it'll tell you seven times a day, it'll give you a message directly for you. And that message directly for you <clears throat> is super powerful. Like you'll think, no shit, you're gonna think somebody's listening to you. It's like, it's like when Google or Facebook is like, is like looking at your stuff, that's what it's gonna feel like. And, um, okay, I just found it. Okay. Um, you still there? That makes if that makes sense. Say it again. I missed you. You, you cut out. It it has a seven and then Gemini. Okay, so seven. So you're Pisces, Gemini. Okay, spiritual. You're a spiritual Gemini. You're always My, thinking in your head about how to make things work, how to, how to, and you're probably even a little bit daydreaming sometimes. <laughs> yes. Now I understand why my, my first daughter is a Pisces, because I knew, I knew nothing about Pisces, but me, maybe <clears throat> I'm, I'm learning now from her. Well, I'm the other end. <laughs> And I'm a Sagittarius on the other end, and my first child is a Pisces, and I knew nothing about Pisces. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm learning. And then I found out just the other day that my father was a 29 degree Pisces moon. And I'm like, oh, it makes so much sense. I was trying to understand my father, so my son is a Pisces. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and now I have a second daughter who, who is a Libra. And my parents are both Libra. Well, so the, the cool thing about Gemini is Libra's balance in, in the body and the life. Uh, Gemini is thinking about both sides. They go really well together, actually. <laughs> it gives more stability because yeah. Gemini itself can be a little unstable. Oh, I think my, I, it's, I think it was about four years ago that I, that I found out about uh, my, my three. <laughs> You know, the sun, the moon, and yeah. the uh, rising, yeah? And they are quite intense, I guess. <laughs> so, how long have you been following with fascial maneuvers or human garage? Uh, I don't remember. I'm around, uh, I'm still uh, recovering from, uh, from my last pregnancy, <laughs> you know? And uh, maybe six months. Oh, six months. I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but uh, it makes a lot of sense to what you say. And uh, you know, I cre create some exercise sometimes also, and I feel like, oh, I'm allowed to create, you know, like. And also, some of the observations that I've noticed in life, and that I hear that you you also observe, and I said, well, okay, I'm not crazy. Um, <laughs> there is other people who sees what I see. Well, that's, because... that's, that's good because, yeah, like creating, it's time for the world to change the way that we move. Like, we're not supposed to exercise, we're supposed to live and have fun. And, you know, like fascial maneuvers, we joke all the time, but it's, it's really meant to be moved through. It's slow motion dance. It's, it's, it's that part of us that was taken out of us. Yeah. Yeah. I started late in life to to learn more about the body. And um, because I've done other stuff that uh, I had to. But now it's been about 10 years that I'm more into the body. And, um, and now my... My daughter, Flora, she, she's here, smiling. <laughs> she's one and three months, and uh, she's having some issues in the body. I don't know what issue. kind of issues like, in the body. I don't like the word issue, but because know, it's what, not... What is it that's happening? Oh, well, first of all, I want to point out something. The girl who was just on, Annie, She's a Pisces Gemini, 
You're a Gemini Pisces. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, cool. So what's, Florida, what's going on with your baby? Florida. She she was born. The delivery was. Thank you. Thank you. Oops. Don't. The delivery was very fast, and I believe a bit traumatic because she had the cord. Oh, wait, is she the Libra? Yes. Okay, lots of Libras have the cord wrapped around their neck. It's, yeah. It's, it's just, it's a weird phenomenon, but a lot of Libras that I know that have had body issues have the cord around the neck. So, and I, I don't think she wants me to tell this story, do you? Uh? Yeah, it's because at her soul level, she, it's a journey that she's going through. Um. One of the things you can do to help her is, is, is the direct the, the neck is about direction. So, I'll, uh, let me just breastfeed just a second so I can. Uh, <laughs> and she she's a big baby. Yeah, and uh, yeah. Okay, you tell me about, and then I tell. So she, <laughs> she's she's helping you find your direction. Yeah, I'm sure. So, <laughs> so as you take away your pain, her pain will go away naturally. She's just reflecting you. Yeah. Yes, I've read this book from a uh, Argentinian psychologist. I don't know if you know her. And she says that uh, uh, maternity. The one of her book is maternity, and uh, wait, I have to turn the maternity. Yeah, uh, the shade. You know, like it's like the kids are showing our shadows. Our our kids are showing our shadows. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Shadow is a, you know, shadow sounds deep. Another way to say it is they're there to show us who we really are because they give us our reflection. Yeah. So maybe and I'm all twisted because uh, she was born very <laughs> asymmetric, you know, the nose and the mouth. I noticed something was stuck in one of her sides here. And then I got desperate and went to many doctors and physiotherapists and all of this and I find it was a bit in vain. Now I'm taking a break this in January and February, not going anywhere, no doctors, just going place where I feel good. Okay. <laughs> I have a I have a there's a community specifically designed for you. In, in, if you DM us or you go to our link in our bio, yeah. you can join. There's a community that's going to be in the platform soon, but right now it's in WhatsApp. <clears throat> and it's parents helping children. And your situation is not uncommon. It's actually very common. If you go into that group, um, they, there's protocols that you can help with right now. And combined with you doing maneuvers and helping with, with, with your child, the complications will go away. Yeah. So you, really can go, you can go, you can go get in that group today. Yes, I did like two days ago, maybe. Oh, okay. <laughs> Perfect. I've tried before twice, but it didn't go through. Then I emailed the human garage and then I got the link. Okay, cool. And I'm, yes, yes. It's okay, been well, a that's... You're yeah. you're in the you're in the right place. You'll find the answers in there, and it, you'll find the other mothers that are in there as well. The other parents that are in there, <clears throat> you'll find similar issues that they had. Yeah, I I have a question about the Java. I, I have a question about the the su supplements. I bought them, and uh, it took a month to arrive in Brazil. Yeah. I started taking to be in a month and a half or so. Uh, I heard once, I think you said that uh, because we're cleaning up and through the skin, and, yeah. yes, and stuff comes out. 
and we can attract more bugs. Is that, uh, you said something that you get the bites in the meridians or something like that. You're gonna, but uh, I don't what's know. gonna happen is stuff's gonna come out of you. So basically, there's a lot of stuff that lays dormant in our system, in our tissues. And as we open up our tissues, it comes out, our body processes it and moves forward. <clears throat> so, like for me, I went, I mean, I, I watch people now, you know, and, and I, I, I believe that what it took me four years to do that you can do in a year. <clears throat> because there's more information. A lot of it, it's not just physical. It's not, as you know, it's not just physical. It has a lot to do with our emotional state. Because if I'm, if I'm angry or feel shame or guilt, that brings my frequency down, which allows a certain type of parasite and bug to activate or be active. As I raise my frequency, all the, all the old ones go, hey, what's going on here? And they got to get out. So they, as they come out, sometimes it's uncomfortable, but. Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. Good. You're doing the right thing and you're in the right place. So just keep doing more of it. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing to be here. Thank you. Thank you for sharing this knowledge. It's just inspiring to, yes, to know that the world is changing and to I don't know to to open up like this you know it's rare yeah like yeah. To, to give like like the world's this. gonna be like this we're just we're just doing it early the world's moving to a good place not a bad place <clears throat> and it just we gotta, we, we gotta go through a little bit of a minefield to get there I think uh, it's my fear that uh, Florida revealed because the, the pandemic showed me a world that I didn't know existed, you know, and... Forget about it. About it. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Just keep doing your thing. Yeah. Ignore the noise. It's the noise that keeps you dragged in. Like, the only reason I, I know about it or talk about it at this state is I can, I can, I'm completely removed from it. So, so, it, so I don't, it doesn't impact me, but if I'm watching the news and reading and stuff like that which i still don't do i usually just get select pieces of information somebody tells me i research that a piece and then i go away because there's just so much this is this war that's happening right now it's on our perception there's more perceptual war being fought than there is physical war yeah it's not yeah it's not the actual fact of the i've never really afraid of the virus or anything you know it's more what's behind it but the, i yeah, don't worry about it. it's just but honestly yeah. don't give it a, don't even give it a second thought do your thing yeah. take care of yourself take care of your kids this is all gonna pass it'll go away it'll go away without you okay okay it's really yeah. good talking to you i'm glad Thanks. that you're doing well i'm glad you're in the parents group now Yes, thank you so much. Bye. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Tamara Rizzo. <clears throat> Tamara, Tamara, Tamara. Rizzo, good vibes. 29 degrees in your sunset. Welcome to the club. Now you're gonna now you're you're gonna find out why your life has been so freaking crazy when you start digging into why you're what a 29 degree in your sunset means. It means that everything happens last minute. Oh, Okay, well, Tamara, DM me, send me a picture of your chart. Looks like you've declined to come live. So send me a picture of your chart, your, your astro.com chart, and, and, um, and I'll put you into a group of people, other 29 degrees in their sun sign. <coughs> it's an experiment. If you're a 25 degree, Lisa started a group of 25 degrees. Be aligned. NBC, 29 degrees, Sun Leo. Oh, if you're not in our group, if you're at 29 in your sun sign only, please, only sun sign, take a snapshot, send it to me. There will be groups for everything from zero to 29. <clears throat> this is a pilot, and it's because it's based around my astrology specifically. Be aligned to BC. Be aligned to BC. How do we figure out our charts? Go to astro, Corey, go to astro.com. <coughs> Hello, hello. I'm chewing. My apologies. That's okay. As long as you don't say so. <laughs>
story like all the other Canadians. Oh, well, there you go. I do. And I'm in the US. So everybody notices it immediately when I say story. It's just a dead giveaway. Where are you in the US? Um, right now, I'm actually living in Connecticut. It's in New Canaan. Sorry, just trying to get you to see me better. So what brought you to the uh, Connecticut? Um, my husband's job in the beginning, and we left during in the pandemic. So we moved here in 2018. We moved to Connecticut. And then six months into the pandemic, there was just something inside of me. I was like, we have to go home now. Like we can't be here. So we moved in four days back to Toronto, stayed there. It was great. But then there's something here. It's like there's like a beacon in Connecticut for me. It's just like pulsating. When's your birthday? And I become a different birthday? person. When's Pardon? your birthday? August 26th. Second, 1985. Oh, another Virgo. No, I'm not a Virgo. I'm the last day. So oh, I'm you're 29 degree Leo. 29 degree Leo. Oh, I have a club for you. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No, I have a. I'm. I'm. I have a whole bunch of 29 degrees that we meet once a month, and and uh, we have a special chat that we talk to <clears throat> because <clears throat> I had a belief years ago that. That things like Sagittarius and Leo, those were one way of looking at it, but not all Sagittariuses are alike, mm -hmm. and not, not all Leos are alike. And that 29 degree means you do everything in the last minute, it mm -hmm. always works out, mm -hmm. you stress about it, mm -hmm. you had a, a shit ton of issues come at you between 0 and 30 years old. Um, people don't really understand you. You don't identify with everything. You want to embody everything in your life. You care about community to an insane level. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I put together, what I did is I said the number is more important. So I put together people by number and I got 29 degrees mm -hmm. all over the world. Mm -hmm. And so we meet with them and we talk and we chat. And what I was doing was I was looking at first as experiment. I, was, I found a whole bunch of 29 degree Sagittarius. Mm -hmm. And I found out they had like identical stories to me and identical situations. Mm -hmm. So I thought, okay, well, what if I look at a 29 degree Virgo? Because I'm not a Grandmaster Virgo. You're, by the way, you're a Grandmaster Leo, a Grandmaster Virgo, and a Grandmaster Cancer, all at the same time. Is that that's why that's why life is so crazy for you? It yes, but it's I I manage it. I'm aware of my my cycles and patterns for the most part, but uh, you'll be really aware when you meet other ones. Mm -hmm. When you see other 29 degree Leos, you'll go, oh, that's what I look like. Mm -hmm. It's like a mirror. Oh, it, that, well, that's what it was. I was trying to. Disc I wanted to learn more about mm -hmm. myself. So mm -hmm. there's two ways for me to learn about myself. Initially, is to look at my identical 29 degree Sagittarius, mm -hmm. but the other way is to look at a 29 degree um, um, Gemini. Mm -hmm. My my last, last wife was a 29 28 degree Gemini. I mean that was close, and and as crazy as, as a Gemini's can be, I I could understand it. It just like it kind of made sense. Like for me, it kind of fit because I could understand the the mentality. Mm -hmm. um, it wasn't what I was going to do. I didn't act that way, but I got it. And and so you've been attracting lots of karmic situations since 2019. Mm -hmm. Between May and your birthday is when you got the the shock. Yeah. And then and then from there you've been unraveling that shock to find out who you really are. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we just went through Capricorn <clears throat> and we came through control issues and on Friday was the 29th degree. So something would have happened for you at a major level Friday to Saturday. So I was at the grocery store and we'll see if this brings up. But clearly I have to process more of it because I'm getting emotional. My husband said like that was traumatic for you. And I was like, no, I'm, I'm totally fine. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so it's funny because I do this for other people, but I never do it for myself. Right. So at the grocery store there was this poor old lady who tripped and she was bleeding profusely and everyone was just standing there and I was pulling out of the parking lot so clearly my body was like you have to stop nobody can manage this like you have to do it get out of the car so I got out of the car I helped her trying to organize everyone and calm them down because nobody can see in, in America I think everyone's just like terrified like sued everything and you know Canadian is just like yeah. I'll throw myself on you. I'm, I'm just, whatever. I'll figure it out after. So I helped this lady up and I'm, I'm covered in blood 
And then my, I have to go pick up my children afterwards and like call in an ambulance, get everything organized. I'm like, okay, everyone's here good now. Okay, great. You're good. Okay. Next, go get my kids. My kids get in the car. Don't touch mommy's jacket. Why not touch mommy's jacket? Drop the kids off. Got to go here, this, this, this. So I'm wondering, I then started feeling sick on Saturday night. So what happened on Friday around like three o'clock, two, two o'clock. And then Saturday night, all of a sudden I was like, I'm, I'm feeling like, you know, when you're starting to get a cold and you feel yep. like super weak and a bit nauseous, yep. it hasn't come yet. But I'm like, is this, what is coming up for me right now? What am I trying to lease? What is release? What is this? You're not spe mirroring? speaking what's truly on your heart. And that woman represented a piece of you that fell down and needed help. Okay, what piece of me fell down and needed help? There's lots of pieces of this, pieces yeah, that have fallen out. But you're not, not speaking what's on your heart. You're not following the truth of your heart. You're still using logic. Okay. I can feel your, I, 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 I can barely, I can barely even move my throat right now. Okay. Are you, are you gonna pull it out of me, Gary? <laughs> I can't do anything. You can pull it out. I could do a movement with you and then we can see what happens. Okay. okay. Yeah, right. yeah. Put your right hand on your heart. Okay. Let me stand up. Left hand on your throat. Breathe into your mouth. Two. Three. Through your nose. Two. Three. Thank you, heart, for holding all of the pain. Thank you, heart, for holding all of the pain. I was ready to process it. Until I was ready to process it. I'm learning to speak the truth. I'm learning to speak the from truth my heart. from my heart. my heart. I'm ready to process whatever I need to process now. I'm ready to process whatever I need to process now. Okay. There could right. be, I feel like it's maybe my hurt and my pain trying to hold it from other people so they don't hurt. Mm -hmm. And I guess in that, in that moment with that lady, oh, totally what came in my brain is they're not strong enough, so go help mm -hmm. and, and be that strength. And I guess maybe the only strong person that I had was my grandfather who passed away five years ago. That was really hard for me, but also opposing that because there's a positive and negative to everything. It's also made me even stronger. Mm -hmm. And is that maybe all of these things that have happened in my life? Is it the logical part that it's okay that it happened because it's made me so much stronger? Yeah. I mean, you're, unpacking a lot of situations in one event. So Capricorn is about control. Friday was the grand master of control. So somehow, some way, <clears throat> control has, has been shown in your life. One of the ways to control is to help everybody else and not myself. Mm -hmm. Yes, I do. I help everyone. Right. I'm, I'm a, a life and success coach with human design and I do everything. What, for what's your human design? Of My human design, I'm a manifesting generator. I'm a six two. Okay. So you're, you're wired to help everybody else, but the control aspect is you take the responsibility and the weight on your shoulders. Big time. That, that's where the control is. So the control mechanism isn't the helping of people. It's the feeling of responsibility for the people you help. Like when that lady fell, you were being shown, well, yeah, I mean, it's the right thing to help, mm -hmm. but 
look at the judgment that came with it. Look at all these other people. They're not doing it. I have mm -hmm. to do it. Mm -hmm. So it's like putting up that energy of being judgmental, being critical of, of everybody else so that you can jump into action to take over. Mm, that did come up for me was why was I so critical of everybody not jumping yeah. in? So the, so the critical of everybody is you're critical of yourself. That's how you, that's how you've been held under control is you've allowed criticism. Mm -hmm. And this is probably to do something either your grandfather was showing you or in a subtle way, not even knowing it, maybe through uh, even appreciation, showing some sort of criticism or judgment that you work through. You know, like when somebody says something and I work through it and I work through it and I work through it, you know, it's like I'm always trying to get over it. Mm -hmm. That's one of the ways it showed up in my life. Mm -hmm. So since you're here, <clears throat> I'll tell you my story. Okay. I've, I've worked since 2019. I've worked really hard in dismantling my life. I mean, like literally, I own nothing. I own it. I can take you over my closet. I put everything I own in a backpack and leave in a few mm -hmm. minutes. Everything. I, I own nothing. That journey was a lot harder than it looked because there's like attachments, there's things and, and it's money, it's things, it's businesses, it's, it's, it's all this other useless stuff that I held that held me caught up somehow. And so my mother passed away during my fast, my 44 day fast. I was fasting with Cynthia and Jason and we were breaking control away from the system and food and all that. And the fast was a way to do it. I mean, really, really challenged my belief and about what control is and where control comes from. Because mm -hmm. we're controlled by food more than anything on the planet. And when I didn't need to eat food anymore, I'm like, ah, I feel free. Mm -hmm. So my mother <clears throat> had passed away and left a bunch of money that we used as as the last part of the money to create all these videos to make stuff like in other, in other words we did as fast as we could we spent the money on creating this creating help for people mm -hmm. without any expectation of control uh, of return and the day we we came down to this point where we ran out of money we we're doing all these programs and we're like but we're determined not to, like i could go ask for money i could borrow money i was all these other things we had our family even bringing us food. I mean, we're, we're not like multi-million dollar beautiful home and we have zero food. And, and I'm like, no, no, we're, and Cynthia comes out and says, I have potatoes. How do you want these? I can do these four different ways. And, and at that exact moment, we were out of money. Uh, somebody with a 29 degree, by the way, reached out and donated um, $50,000 to us. And I knew that it was a turning point because we went to nothing, all of us. We used mm -hmm. every bit of our money. We did it selflessly without any, any expectation of return. And then so long, long story short, my mom set up a <clears throat> bank of you. So there's one part of the inheritance I didn't even know was there. Mm -hmm. And my sister calls me, you know, last week says, <clears throat> sorry, my sister calls me last week and says, you know, like, we've got this thing going on, and I'm like, I can't even process it. Like, I, I can't even think about it. Like, there's this between the three of us. There's this money that's left over. And then, long story short, on Friday, she, she, she came and says, I want to do this right now, and I need this money from you to, to unlock the money. Like, we have to put money into the bank to get it out. And I just said, look at don't do, she has access to she she was our CFO so she has access to the council. says don't take anything because I'm I don't have money I don't direct money it's not my money when somebody donates money or money comes in I don't have any direction over it I can't even tell you to do that and so I said I talked talk to her so I talked to her yesterday after but I, I could feel this energy coming on the 29th and then when I talked talk to her all of a sudden my heart got really tight I can feel it right now tightening up and it got tight and I'm like, all this ugliness about my son, money, my brother, her meeting, and all this. And I'm like, I don't want this. This is what I got away from. So mm -hmm. I said, look at, here's where I'm at. 
you guys deal with it. You have my permission. Take it all the way. I don't want one dime. I don't even want the discussion. I don't want, I don't want to hear about it. You guys just do whatever you want. And then all of a sudden my heart released. Mm -hmm. And it was like, because I walked away from this control mechanism of, of money, which funny enough, inheritance is, inheritance is one of the biggest control mechanisms mm -hmm. because it's like, like they're controlling from the grave, telling you how or why or who gets it and all the emotions that go around with it, right? Yeah, that's, there's a lot of pain in my family around money and I don't want any of it. So I just want to break from it. It doesn't mean anything to me. I, so I don't this want is it. The only reason why we want money, because here's what happened and here's how it snuck in, is that I go, well, when my daughter's getting married, she could use some money for the wedding, but I don't have money. I don't make money. So I'm not contributing mm -hmm. in that way. I help in other ways. And I'm like, well, I'll give it to my daughter. And then it started to unravel and get really weird. And all those emotions came up again, just like you're talk talking about. Mm -hmm. And so the most insidious way of controlling somebody is giving them money. Mm -hmm. And Worse yet, when it comes in inheritance, because they're, because then it's all the emotions that go right with it. So your your instinct is right, I'm, and somehow, some way, I'm telling you this story today because mm -hmm. you're going through your own journey. There was a when I have on, especially on a 29 day, when something like that happens, like there, what are the, what are the chances that happened on a on a grandmaster day? That's the one day out of every month or every sign that you're supposed to pay mm -hmm. attention. And that day something happens. Well, that means you're paying attention. So the lessons are coming out of it. Mm -hmm. But I have a strong feeling that this goes back to exactly what we're talking about, the money, the family. And the, it's not about the money. It's really about, it's about the family, the energy, and all the emotions that goes with it. That's why I'm here. Yeah. I, just, I had to detach. I went back for two years and it's just like, you're not, you're not listening. You're not hearing. And it just constantly goes back to money. And I'm like, are we here again? I do not just see how much it controls and is tearing all of you apart. Can we just stop? But nobody will, will stop. I got, a, I got a, I got a, I got a, I got a little secret I'll share with you. Nobody's going to get through this next 18 to 20 four months it's all unraveling right now mm -hmm. nobody it doesn't matter where, what they think they have the bigger and the more money they have the harder this transition is going to be i went through a journey of de detaching what you're going mm -hmm. through and in that journey of giving up everything and going i went through all these emotions it wasn't about the money like I, i've had tens of millions of dollars and i've been broke and it was a weird, weirdest experience of detaching from because I detached from the money and the things, but then I had the emotion because that was buried in the money and the things. And when I got rid of the money and the things, then now I had to deal with the real thing, which the money was covering up, which is the emotion. Mm -hmm. So nobody's going to make it through this. Nobody is. I don't care who they are or what they are. This is why I tell people right now, if you want to protect yourself, here's how you do it. You, you get everything that you need to do what you, what makes you happy in your life, what you want to do, and do that. And anything after that is just going to get taken away from you anyways. I don't care who they are. That's, that's what's happening in the world. We're shifting. And you inherently know that. You've known that your whole life, and you've been feeling that coming up. What happened between May and your birthday on 2019, right before the pandemic? I got pregnant. My grandfather had just died. And I had a great job um, in HR and I left it because my husband was living here in Connecticut and I was living in Toronto. And I just said, I didn't marry you to live in another country. Like this is just too much. And I really started coming into my own. That's when I detached from my family and all of the stuff that was going on after my grandfather died. And I was able to see how deeply rooted it was in me in these generational patterns and cycles right. and i went the universe pushed me back to go deeper into that for two years and it was it was intense and yeah. i just got back in june this year to connecticut and i'm just i'm so much 
happier because I'm just in the trees and 14 deers live in my backyard and there's bobcat and my neighbors and I live 45 minutes from Manhattan. So all of the stuff is there for fun and adventure, but I literally live in a bush yeah. and, and it's just where I want to be. And I don't, so, I don't want to go back. I love that. You did the same thing I did. I moved to the mountain in Lions Bay mm -hmm. right at the same time. Mm -hmm. And, and I moved away, got rid of the clinic, left a relationship. Mm -hmm. um, and just started detaching from life. But the reason I know that what was happening, I know something was happening. You had your version, but I had mine. Mm -hmm. It's because we're being woken up. And the way I believe it is, is that, that I mean, everybody has a role. Mm -hmm. Our role is those 29s. If you were going to put a bunch of sand in, and we're frequent, if you put a bunch of sand in a, in a, in a time mm -hmm. clock thing, the smaller granules go through first. The the ones who got the most wearing and tearing on them. That's the 29s. And 29s go through, 28s go through, 23, 27s go, and so forth. Our job was to go first, and that's why whatever the rest of the world's coming into the same thing now that mm. you were coming, that you went through at mm. that time. Mm. Is that why I keep on telling everyone it's okay? Don't worry, you're safe. Like, it's just, leave it. I just, I tell everyone just, shh, it doesn't matter. None of that matters. Stay in your bubble. It's great. Just like, yeah. stay here right now. Yeah. That's, that's where you're, and that's your job. I mean, you're, you're the Leo, you're the heart. That's why I want to introduce you to a bunch of people. Um, okay. We, we, I started realizing, I started, because I went out and I went deep. Like, I mean, I found people who look identical to me, mm -hmm. same astrology, same life, same patterns. I went really deep. But as I started stepping back and realizing, you know, why are we all here? Mm. Like, what, what is this journey? It's the world is going through a transition. We're evolving as a species. You got dogs and animals talking, right? Now. You got leopards laying with, with cows. You know, the world is a different place. It is legitimately mm -hmm. a different place. And we're here to make sense. We're paving a way for who, not for our generation, not us, mm -hmm. it's our kids. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're the ones that are coming, bringing the change. I mean, you can see them. If you go look at American Idol 10 years ago, five years ago, eight years ago, it, it was always adults who won. There's no kids. Now, out of the top 10 that are finished, it's, it's like eight or nine of them are like 12 years old, eight years old, 14 years old. There's a change. The, the guard is changing and we're here to usher in the change. I feel that deeply, strongly. I hear it. Yeah. And, and what will help you is being around other people that are identical in the way that they feel, think, or resonate, their frequency as you. And again, this is not a pecking order for anybody who's out there. Um, mm -hmm. you, don't, you don't necessarily want to be a 29. <laughs> A 29, if you're talking about a, sw a SWAT team, a 29 are the breachers. They're the ones who go through the door. So the grenades and the bullets hit them first. That's it. But and, and that's because you have this, you have this uh, uniquely tough skin. I do. And, and wow. your first 30 years of your life was really confusing mm -hmm. and lots of shit so that you'd be prepared for this. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'm in. Obviously, I, I sat there and I was just like, okay something's up. I don't know what it is. And then you popped into my mind and they told me to go on your live. And I was like, really? And then I was like, all right, here we go. If it's meant to be, he's going to pick me and here it is. Mm -hmm. It is. That's mm -hmm. it. So welcome to the club. Thank you. Okay, great. Send me, will... send, send me a DM just at uh, Instagram. So you're on the live today, send a uh, screenshot of your chart okay. and then I'll introduce him. We'll have a chat. Okay, there. perfect. Thank you so much, Gary. Bye. Triple Pisces, oh my gosh. Hey Stacy, yeah, Spirit connected me to you too. Yeah, my father's a 29 degree Aquarius and he lived in East Germany before the wall came down. Whoa, that must have been interesting. Yeah, so many realizations. I hope you heard my story. It was the most bizarre thing because like I, I, did, I don't want, I didn't want the money, but when it, when it came up, it was like, oh, okay, I'll just use it over here. Now I'm like, I don't even want that money to go to my daughter. People are like, why don't you 
this, use it, use it for good. It doesn't work that way. If I do what I truly want in my heart, all the resources I need, like Human Garage isn't built on money. We didn't even have a revenue stream until a little over a year ago. It was like 14, 15 months ago, we had revenue. Before that, we had no revenue. So the worldwide network for millions of people didn't come from us having money. It came from us literally just reaching out. And we have people that like the place that we're in right now, this, we didn't pay for this. Aisha, who, who became a part of our mission, had these, had these places in Mexico. It doesn't take money. It takes people, resources, and access to do what you want to do. Money is a very, very uh, misleading. Yeah, misleading. I don't know if it's misleading. It's the word. It, when you get there with, if you use money to get there, it's artificial, and then you have have to pay the price when you get there. It's easier to pay the price along the way. I'll give, you a, I'll give you an example, just from a different example, but uh, a friend of mine, part of the Human Garage family, originally was Brandon Roth, who was Superman. His first acting gig was Superman. <laughs> Iconic, right? They decided not to, this is after Christopher Reeves died. They decided not to, or not died after he got paralyzed. They decided not to carry on their tradition. It just wasn't working. So. He didn't get the second, third, fourth. So he had to go out and then become an actor. And he spent 10 years before he got another good role. And he, what he told me at the time, he goes, that was harder than me just doing the 10 years working my way up because I had this iconic role. And then every, and then I'm trying to, and I'm auditioning for parts and people go, oh, wait a second, you're, you're Superman. You're auditioning over here. <clears throat> so. If you get there by money, you will pay the price. Money will never, ever, 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 ever make it easier. It will make it harder. <clears throat> if money comes along the way to assist you in the, whatever you're doing, that's different. The lab or dad? Yeah, you want currency. Currency. And currency isn't money currency is the flow which money can facilitate it but you guys we have a worldwide network of people helping people if we had to pay for it there's no way we could do it holy smokes it's almost time to go 1251 I, I, honestly i looked up i thought i thought i had another hour left uh but we do have astro money monday coming in two hours and nine minutes and 22 seconds <laughs> Hey, Jackie, Jackie B, how you doing? Hey, Gary, how do you work out your numbers? What do you mean work out my numbers? Carmen, I'm not sure exactly what you mean. Hey, Neelam, another 20. Maybe they're astro numbers, like they're on their astro chart, like they're degrees. Huh. Uh, yeah, it could be, but just ask me specifically. Neelam D has this, um, with the exception of like three numbers, has the same astrological chart as me. And you can see us going through the same things together at the same time. Uh, um, how do you get minerals in your, in your water? You know, there's a couple ways. Uh, one of the good ways to get minerals in your water, I mean, if you have a water, if you have an alkabetable water filter, you can get a mineralizer to go with it, and that works really good. If you don't, um, taking minerals will help, but I still recommend getting them in your water. Um, one of the ways to do it is take a big glass, you know, jug. In the bottom, put a whole, whole bunch of rocks and put some crystals and some shungite and some quartz in the bottom. So you uh, like put a layer of rocks in there, just put them in. Put the water in there, the, the filtered water in there, and then it'll drip through there and get, grab the minerals. And if you want, you can actually move and create some, you can actually stir the water. And if you stir the water, spin it, you'll get some charge in it. You can put it in the sun and stuff like that, but that's one way to get it. The other, you can use like trace minerals, but yeah, that'll help. It'll, it'll make it a little bit better. Um, that's another way to do it. But honestly, long-term, invest in a water filter, like uh, invest in like uh, an ionizer, 
like from uh like from Alcaviva and you can go to our partner store if you want to do that or and you can ask some questions if you want if it's not can't afford it or whatever there's other ways to do it but if you can invest in that if you need mineralizer uh get a mineralizer Wednesday June 20th long uh, long farm versus still has not been found uh see Mambri 17, June 20th, you could be a 29 degree, a 28 degree, or a 27 degree. Or, yeah, you, so you want to take a look at that. Just go, and you don't have, your birth time itself doesn't have to be there um, to know your primary degree. You're probably going to get it right. So go and uh, just do your chart. Is it possible that rocks could have heavy metals? Um, no, no. I mean, the rocks aren't going to have heavy metals. Go get rocks, like rocks. You can actually buy rocks for water too. I think they sell them on Amazon in different places. But go get crystals. Go get shungite. Get some quartz crystals. Put it in there. Just get a whole bunch of uh, different types of rocks. And like I said, I believe that the Amazon even sells them. If anybody knows where to get those, put that in the put that in the comments. And if you guys haven't done it yet, the twenty eight day reset go sign up and go sign up for our new app go into the circle so go to our website sign up for our community and in there you have the you have the resets uh in there you've got the community it's starting to build we're taking and we're transferring i mean we had eighty thousand people in the other one we're moving them slowly over to the new app but go get your name first of all <laughs> so no one else doesn't get your handle um Zero degree cap on Friday. <clears throat> it would have been a review. So if you're a zero degree cap on Friday, you would have been reviewing all of the lessons that you had for the course of the month. There would have been a lot of them and you would have been thinking about them. But if you're a zero degree cap, also DM me because our club is 29 degree and zero degree. So DM me with a, with, a, with a screenshot of your chart. And again, there will be a 28, 27, 26, 20, uh, Lisa has a 25. You can DM Lisa, Lisa Human Garage for 25 degree um, group. And what we're just doing is we're, we're beta testing this. We're learning how it works so that we can open it up as a proper community. There's Kettle Buddha, zero degrees cancer. Yeah, Circle app is awesome. And by the way, it will be the Human Garage app in the App Store in about five more weeks. Yeah. How do you know which degree? Um, I you guys, I really recommend go to go to our our store, go to our partners, and go to Serious Joy. Sign up for the three ninety nine for the first month. If you if you don't like it, don't want to use it, it's okay. Just go away. You can just you know tell them. Um, and if you uh when you go there um uh it will give you information about your a store your b store you can learn it'll give you seven messages a day even if you if you use it for a month you use it for a month but honestly it's so valuable and it looks like uh uh casim casim casimiro taro 12 uh, March 4th, you're probably a 13, 14, or 15 degree. If you're a 14 degree, reach out to Cynthia, Human Garage. She's also 14 degree Pisces. Yeah, tons of good information on Sirius Joy. Okay, everybody, we are going to wind up. We have Astro Monday. This is going to be a powerful week. I can't wait to hear what Chris says. Um, we're going into things. And again, if you haven't figured this out, um, here's some indicators of the system coming apart. Uh, NFL is scripted. It's not me saying it. <laughs> Sports Illustrated, everybody got fired. They didn't own it. Somebody else owned it. You just watch. This is all happening. It's the fabric of reality is going to be pulled away. Okay, everybody, we'll see you at uh, uh, two o'clock Pacific Standard Time, which is two hours. No, it's 12 noon. Oh, sorry, 12, 12 noon Pacific Standard Time. 12 noon, two hours from now. 12 noon Pacific Standard Time. 
So it's uh, two hours, one minute, and 42 seconds now. Have a good one. See you guys in a bit. Take care.